My name is Heidi Seva. I'm a junior at Heidelberg University. My name is Brandon Alexander. I am a Heidelberg student and I am a senior. I'm Heidi's boyfriend and we've been together for almost uh, eight months. The reason that I'm making this documentary is because I had acute appendicitis. I had to have an emergency surgery for something that I didn't even know that I had and it was really unexpected. It starts with my 21st birthday on it's October 9th 2018 I woke up with intense stomach pain like stomach pain that is was so totally unbearable I was kind of unsure I wasn't quite too sure exactly what was gonna happen I called the stoner health center and they said that I probably just had the stomach flu and to wait till the next day to really do anything about it and so I didn't really worry much about it and was pretty much bedridden. Um, the next day it still hadn't went away so I started to get more concerned. I talked to my mom and she said that it was probably nothing. I went to stoner finally because they said to come back and they said that my stomach pain was really concerning because most of the pain that I was having uh, this day was more around my appendix. The nurse practitioner at Stoner recommended that I go to the emergency room. Stoner isn't always super reliable, so I decided to go to urgent care and see what they would say about it, and they wouldn't even see me. They said that they would also recommend that I go to the emergency room. So I called my mom, the end-all be-all, and she said that it was nothing and that I was worrying too much. I fought that and decided that my gut feeling was probably right, so I went to the emergency room. I had no idea what was wrong with her, um, but I trusted her and when she said that it was definitely something that should be taken uh, a look at by a professional, I trusted her opinion and I took her to the hospital. I had tons of blood work done to see what was wrong with me um, and then I finally had a CAT scan and having the CAT scan results come back they said that it was very clear that my appendix was infected and that it needed to come out. At first I was a little uneasy and because I had no idea what was going to happen but then when she when the nurse came in and she kind of like joked about having a uh, her appendix taken out, I was a little confused because that's uh, something I did not anticipate. Five hours after being in the emergency room, they finally told me that I had appendicitis. I was shocked. Um, I kind of wanted her to like go home and everything would be normal, but when they told her that she was gonna stay for surgery, I was like, oh, well, uh, this kind of just escalated very quickly. It was definitely a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was very, uh, very nervous and a little bit scared, but I really didn't show that. Um, I don't think she noticed that I was quite uh, frightened or anything like that, but I most certainly was. I was terrified because immediately after I was informed that I had acute appendicitis, I was told that I had to have surgery and I've never ever had surgery before and the thought of being put to sleep and having people mess around with my insides totally freaks me out. My main goal was to ensure that she gets better. One of the worst feelings in the world was waking up after surgery. I had not eaten for two days and I woke up and my throat was so, so dry that I couldn't even speak to my nurses. After surgery, I didn't feel very good physically, but mentally I felt like a badass. I totally overcame my fear of surgery and I did what I needed to do to get better and I did most of it on my own. I was had the aid of my boyfriend and his mental and emotional support, but I did it. I always try to make her laugh. In general, I think that if you think that anything is wrong with you, that you should get it checked out. I would say to trust your gut instinct. If you know something or feel something is wrong with your body, then get it checked out. 
my mom told me do not go to the emergency room you're gonna waste money all this other stuff like that and I went and there was actually something really wrong with me and it could have killed me if I would have left, let it keep going. For significant others that are sitting on the sidelines, I'd advise, like, go, like, stay there. Like, even if you don't like it, too bad, suck it up. If you think that something's wrong with you and you know that it's not normal, you should definitely get it checked out because it could end up costing you your life if you don't take care of yourself.